plan now for your early season food source big buck ambush setups. It's not that difficult to do and it only takes a few hours of your time from start to finish. Now is the time to be creative and think outside of the box. Movement pathways and pinch points can be very effective once all the pieces in the puzzle are arranged correctly. I've been creating effective buck killing hotspots for several years and as you can see they use them often. And just like fish that relate to structure, so will your local bucks the features that you can build on your property. Don't forget the water sources, they can be a great attraction. Edges and deer pathways can easily direct movement patterns to your advantage. I transplanted that cedar tree several years ago and it acts as an activity hub in this food plot. Should you choose, let it go so he can grow. There's nothing like climbing into your stand to see two big fresh scrapes. So here's what you need and how you get there. First off, you're going to need a plan using these basic critical elements. Number one, a secluded, attractive destination food source, ideally an existing comfort zone with a water source, focal point scraping and rubbing tree post as an activity hub. Don't worry if you're starting out fresh. It may take a few years of history and hierarchy for mature bucks to become comfortable with the setup. Number two, two or more known established bedding areas within 60 to 120 yards of the destination food source. Number three, secluded access that gets you into your hunting set without bumping deer or tipping them off from your minor scent drift. This will take some planning, so choose wisely. Here's an example of my food plot hunting setup. As they say, failing to plan is planning to fail. Your secluded access separated from bedding relies on you having better bedding areas located far from your access route. Here's an example of me executing the plan in late August in my destination soybean plot. sure helps to have it rain just as I'm finishing putting the seed down. Now stay out and away from that food source until hunting conditions are right. This takes some discipline. My first hunt on the food source. It's early October, post cold front and high barometric pressure. Ideal conditions. Wow, what a first hunt it was. If you hunt this during the wrong winds and the wrong conditions, there's a good chance you won't see this kind of relaxed buck activity. You must believe you have so much more to do with this than what you really think. Early October of 2018, first year I mowed paths in the food source, I took Pretty Boy on October 4th. Late November of 2019, same food source, 
second year mowing paths and I took this really nice eight point. October 2nd, 2020, same soybean food source, third year mowing paths. I took this beautiful ten point. And mid-November of 2020, I took this beautiful 11 point on the same food source walking down the paths. Thanks a lot for watching and remember this, if you can envision it, you can accomplish it.